Hello everybody. Welcome to my chess channel. I'm Wilson Cruz from Goa. In today's video, we are going to see an interesting episode on chess, a championship match between Ritwish Parab and Nitish Golinkar in the All Goa Online Senior Chess Championship conducted by Goa Chess Association from 20th December to 23rd December on Tornello. This is the uh, India's first online live state championship conducted on Tornello. Let's see how the game went. Ritwish Parab here was white and Nitish Perulkar uh, was black. The game went in a French defense opening. So let's see how Ritwish won against Nitish Perulkar. So here the game started with e4. So Nitish played e4. Black played e6. So Nitish started with e6. That is the French defense opening. Now the game went with d4 move. So white played d4. Black plays d5. Now white that is Ritwish Parav goes with some different line or different variation. So white plays bishop d3. Now in this position black plays d takes e4. So Nitish captures the pawn that is d takes e4. Now white captures bishop takes e4. Now in this position it is a black turn to so here the black plays knight on f6 plan to attack the bishop which is on e4. So here the Ritwish goes with bishop on f3. The plan of keeping bishop on f3 is to control a c6 square. If knight comes on c6, then white can capture them. So let's go with the game here. Now in this position, it is a black turn. Black plays c5. A good one. If white captures pawn, then the bishop will come out and the development will start for black. So in this position, the white plays a very good move. Knight on him. So white is just developing the PC and planning to do castle. Now let's say here in this position, what black plays? Black plays knight c6. Again, there is a pressure on pawn. Now how to save this pawn? So to save this pawn, white played bishop on e3. So here, bishop comes on e3. Now in this position, black plays knight e5. Nitish plays knight e5. In this position, white captures bishop takes d5. And now black captures queen takes d5. Black should have captured e takes d5. So let's see what happens if queen captures d5. So in this position, white played a very interesting move. White played knight on c3. The plan here is to capture the queen on d5. Here, Ritwish took a risk and gave a pawn, that is a pawn on g2. Now it is a black's turn to play. Black played queen on c4. This is a bad move. The Nidish should have captured the queen takes g2. The queen would attack the rook on h1. Let's say the rook comes on g1. The black should have taken queen captures h2. And then the game would go with bishop on f4 attacking the queen on h2. Again, queen would come on h5. But white has a lot of compensation for two pawns. Black is two pawns up. But if you go to see, white position is quite attacking. Go back with the, uh, when Nitish captures, queen takes c4. White played a very interesting move. White takes pawn and captures a pawn on c5. That is, he takes c5. It's a x. Now in this position, white, it is a black stun. Black played bishop e We'll see what happens if bishop captures c5. In this position, white, uh, black would lose a piece. How? White could have played 
in this position b3 attacking the queen and let's say queen comes on b4 again white has brilliant move a3 attacking the queen let's say queen comes on a5 and now white has a brilliant move b4 attacking the bishop and attacking the queen which is a good attack so this would make black to lose one piece so let's come back with a game we'll come back to d takes c5 in this position uh, nitish played bishop e7 now both did castle white did castle and black also did castle and if you look at this position uh white is slightly better because white has one pawn or white has one extra pawn so let's see how the game went on here white played queen d3 white went to exchange the queen since white is one pawn up so uh, nitish played queen on h4 now let's see how the game went with which bought the rook on rook a d1 controlling the pawn by now in this position white pieces are much stronger so black came back with a attack to take the pawn so knight play, black played knight on b4 now white has got a excellent move white plays queen on d5 here the good move for black was knight on c6 now let's see what happens if black captures this pawn and in this match this is made up blunder here by just capturing knight takes c2 so here black captures knight takes c2 now knight is fully trapped so here white played bishop f4 so this is saved the bishop in this position now he has to just trap the knight with his own c2 so here in this position black played queen on h5 white played rook on d2 again pressure on the knight which is on c2 so black plays a pawn on e5 again pressure on the bishop which is on f4 so in this position the british has interesting move knight on d3 so white plays knight on g2 attacking queen on h5 let's say the black plays queen on h6 uh, g2 now white gets another pawn white captures bishop takes e5 now in this position black plays f5 now in this position the bishop which is on e7 is very weak so white plays knight on d and with this knight e5 white got a clear advantage so your knight plans to capture bishop on e7 let's say the black plays bishop on f4 In this position, uh, Rituish played queen c4 again, planned to capture this knight. So, black played bishop g5 to attack the rook which is on d. Now, in this position, white won the game simply by capturing queen takes c2. Now, Rituish is one piece up. Now in this position, Nitish resigned the game because he won his game. If Black captures, let's see the game. Let's see what happens if Bishop captures a rook on d2. Then Knight would come on e7, and then it would attack the King, and the King would go. In this way. Rituish Kara won again with this Virulita and won the first online test championship. This is all about this game. If you like my video and if you want to watch more interesting videos like this, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and press bell icon so that you don't miss any of the videos on chess. See you then. Bye.